the film opens with the decisive defeat of the Shu state and their fierce battle against the mighty Wu Kingdom. These rival kingdoms clash over control of a disputed territory, and the Shu forces, despite their valiant efforts, suffer heavy losses. Overwhelmed by guilt and compassion, the Shu warlord, General Guan Yu, takes a momentous decision. He releases his exhausted soldiers, allowing them to return home. Yet, to his surprise, a deep bond of loyalty forms between the soldiers and their noble leader. Inspired by their unwavering devotion, they choose to stand by Guan Yu's side and aid him in completing the unfinished war. As dusk descends, Guan Yu and his determined soldiers launch a daring and audacious assault on the imposing Wu army. Fearlessly leading the charge is General Pan Zhang, a formidable adversary. Witnessing Guan Yu's bold advance, Pan Zhang swiftly unleashes a barrage of fireballs, instantly engulfing the Shu troops in chaos and devastation. Mounts crumble, and brave warriors fall from their steeds. In this dire moment, Guan Yu makes a fateful decision. Some of his soldiers dismount and hastily form a defensive shield, sacrificing their own mobility to protect their brethren. With unwavering fortitude, the Shu army miraculously repels the deadly fireballs, frustrating Pan Zhang's sinister intentions. Enraged by this setback, the Wu general rallies his frontline troops, thirsting for the massacre of Guan Yu and his valiant warriors. Amidst the intense battle, Pan Zhang, seizing an opportunity, commanded his subordinate Luo Mao to launch a fresh assault. This time, their entire army united, aiming to mercilessly annihilate the Shu troops. Despite valiant resistance, the outnumbered Shu soldiers found themselves overwhelmed by the sheer force of their enemies. With sorrowful inevitability, Pan Zhang's forces prevailed, leaving only a few surviving Shu warriors clinging to hope, while the state of Wu triumphed as the official victor of the war. In a heart-wrenching turn of events, Guan Yu and his eldest son, Guan Ping, found themselves encircled by a relentless wave of thousands of Wu soldiers. Pan Zhang cunningly tried to persuade Guan Yu to surrender his legendary Green Dragon Crescent Sword. However, resolute in his refusal, the general stood firm. Unwilling to accept Guan Yu's defiance, Pan Zhang made a chilling decision. He would unleash a barrage of 10,000 arrows upon Guan Yu and his son, seeking to end their lives and erase their heroic legacy. The war took a devastating toll on the Shu troops, leaving only two survivors amidst the sea of fallen warriors. Guan Xing, the second son of Guan Yu, and his uncle Zhou Chang were the lone remnants. Haunted by the bitter defeat, Guan Xing nursed a deep resentment towards Pan Zhang, the general who not only claimed his father's legacy, but also caused their family's downfall. Reflecting on cherished memories of his childhood with his revered father, Guan Xing made a solemn vow to bring about the destruction of Pan Zhang. Filled with determination, Guan Xing sought permission from Liu Bei, the leader of Shu, to launch an assault against Pan Zhang. However, the advisors voiced their concerns, fearing for Guan Xing's safety as the army's foundation was not yet solid. Yielding to their counsel, Liu Bei urged Guan Xing to bide his time and wait for the opportune moment. However, the fiery young man adamantly refused, choosing to take matters into his own hands and exact revenge on his own terms. Under the cover of night, Guan Xing devised a daring plan to venture into enemy territory, Wu country, with the intention of eliminating Pan Zhang. However, his determined journey was abruptly halted by his uncle, Zhou Chang. A fierce clash ensued between the two relatives, and in the end, Zhou Chang emerged victorious. It was in this moment that Zhou Chang imparted a crucial lesson to Guan Xing, making him realize the untidiness of his fighting skills. If he truly desired vengeance, he needed to dedicate himself to rigorous training. Heeding his uncle's wisdom, Guan Xing embraced the path of arduous practice. Yet, even as Guan Xing poured his efforts into honing his skills, his emotions continued to surge within him. Whenever he succumbed to the allure of intoxication, he would stir up trouble and rally the villagers to his side. Unbeknownst to them, Guan Xing had a clandestine motive. In secret, he was crafting a strategic map, seeking the assistance of someone intimately familiar with the plans of Yiling Water Village. This area held the potential to become a decisive battleground for his first retaliatory strike, a calculated move in his quest for justice and to avenge his fallen father and brother. Meanwhile, Pan Zhang engaged in intense practice sessions, wielding Guan Yu's legendary sickle sword. However, his training was interrupted when Luo Ma, his subordinate, approached with alarming news. The kingdom of Shu was mustering forces, preparing for an impending attack. Pan Zhang, displaying unwavering confidence, showed no signs of fear in the face of this imminent threat. A few days later, Guan Xing set out to meet with Liu Bei and share his strategic insights. However, his path was obstructed by vigilant guards. Meanwhile, Liu Bei and Zhou Chang were engaged in a discussion about their own strategies. They resolved to bolster their forces by recruiting additional soldiers. 
Among the potential recruits was Fan Ling, a resilient woman who had tragically lost her parents at the hands of Pan Zhang's troops. Spotting Guan Xing being held by the guards, Fan Ling approached him with a determined stride. In a secretive exchange, Guan Xing entrusted a crucial piece of paper to Fan Ling, a message intended for Liu Bei and Zhou Chong. Without delay, Fan Ling swiftly delivered the precious paper to Liu Bei, unveiling Guan Xing's intricately drawn map of Yiling Water Village. Liu Bei was captivated by the unwavering determination displayed by Guan Xing. Filled with admiration, he finally granted Guan Xing permission to join the impending war, acknowledging the young warrior's tenacity and strategic prowess. In preparation for the impending conflict, Liu Bei dispatched a select team led by Guan Xing, Zhou Chang, Fan Ling, and Zhang Bao. Their mission was shrouded in secrecy as they embarked on a daring infiltration of Wu's treacherous waters. Their target, the surveillance ship guarded by Wu's sentinels. Swiftly and silently, the team executed their plan, eliminating the guards on board, ensuring their presence remained concealed. With one ship guard held captive, they proceeded to extract crucial information through interrogation. The guard revealed the location of the gate to Yiling Water Village and willingly opened the entrance. Disguised as couriers delivering goods for Pan Zhang, Guan Xing and his comrades infiltrated the village. However, their progress was abruptly halted when Luo Mao intercepted them. Unexpectedly, Pan Zhang himself, displaying his treacherous nature, killed the ship guard and allowed Guan Xing and his companions to proceed. Sensing the urgency of the situation, they swiftly sought refuge and devised a plan. Zhou Chang opened a concealed box, unveiling a cache of weapons, and they distributed their roles accordingly. Little did they know, Pan Zhang had already become aware of the Shu intruder's presence. Spies within the Shu army had betrayed them, divulging Guan Xing's strategy. Armed with this knowledge, Pan Zhang exuded confidence, believing he could once again triumph over the Shu forces. In the midst of their mission, Guan Xing and Fan Ling acquire vital intelligence regarding a secret tunnel, serving as a covert entrance. However, they are compelled to wait until nightfall to embark on their infiltration. Utilizing this time, Guan Xing and his companions seize the opportunity to rest and rejuvenate. It is during this respite that Guan Xing notices a scar on Fan Ling's back, a lingering reminder of a sword wound she endured as a child. In a tender moment, Guan Xing assures her that they will emerge victorious from their imminent battle. As darkness blankets the land, Guan Xing and his team silently commence their operation. Methodically, they eliminate the guards, one by one, erasing any obstacle in their path. United in purpose, the four warriors then make their way through the tunnel, the very path that Guan Xing had revealed. Unbeknownst to them, this tunnel leads to a concealed cave where sinister weapons of mass destruction are being forged, poised to inflict catastrophic damage. Within the depths of the foreboding cave, Guan Xing and his valiant comrades spring into action. Launching a fierce assault on the formidable warrior, Pan Zhang, their united efforts rouse the fiery spirit within their hearts. Notably, Fan Ling skillfully triggers a trap mechanism, providing an opportunity for Liu Bei's troops to infiltrate Yiling Water Village. As the impending war draws near, a sudden turn of events takes place. Guan Xing locks his three companions safely within the confines of the cave, expressing his resolve to personally vanquish Pan Zhang, sparing his comrades from harm. Assuming the guise of a vanguard soldier, Guan Xing forges ahead, determined to get close to his target. However, Luo Ma, harboring suspicions, becomes wary of Guan Xing's intentions. The ruse is unraveled, and a fierce battle erupts, plunging them into a desperate clash of swords and wills. In a heart-wrenching turn of events, Guan Xing realizes that he has fallen into a cunning trap. It becomes evident that Pan Zhang had been eagerly anticipating his arrival all along. However, rather than executing him outright, General Pan Zhang deviously orders his men to imprison Guan Xing, trapping him within the confines of a cold and desolate cell. In the depths of his confinement, Guan Xing awakens, finding himself caged like a trapped beast. A glimmer of hope emerges when a fellow prisoner approaches him, a humble villager who possesses valuable knowledge about the water village. Guan Xing's mind races, seeking a means of escape from his grim imprisonment. Determined, he devises a plan, weaving a web of lies to the villager, claiming that he will divulge crucial information about the Shu army. Meanwhile, Zhou Chang and the remaining comrades successfully escaped the confines of the treacherous cave. Urgency fueled their every step as they embarked on a relentless search for their imprisoned companion, Guan Xing. In the midst of the chaos, Zhou Chang, showcasing his indomitable spirit, confronted Pan Zhang's soldiers armed only with torch sticks, engaging in a fierce and fiery battle. After a time, Zhou Chang and the others finally rendezvoused with Guan Xing, joining forces once again. United in their determination, they resumed the fight against their relentless adversaries. Amidst the aftermath of the intense battle, Guan Xing revealed a harrowing truth, 
Pan Zhang had discovered their meticulously crafted plans, placing the Shu army in grave peril. However, before Guan Xing could relay this crucial information to their troops, the soldier Pan Zhang abruptly appeared on the scene. In a selfless act, Zhou Chang valiantly chose to confront their formidable foe alone, ordering Guan Xin to carry out the imperative task of informing their fellow soldiers. Tragically, the winds of fate turned against Zhou Chang as he fell victim to a merciless onslaught, succumbing to multiple spears piercing his valiant spirit. Amidst the depths of the cave, Guan Xing, Fan Ling, and Zhang Bao navigate the treacherous terrain, desperately seeking an escape route. Zhang Bao lends a helping hand, carefully extracting the arrow lodged in Fan Ling's wounded body. Moments later, Guan Xing discovers a potential breakthrough, a plan to blast through the cave wall, creating a direct path into the water village. With newfound hope, they prepare for the imminent clash that awaits them. As the long-awaited moment arrives, the war erupts with an explosive intensity. Pan Zhang, orchestrating his troops, unleashes a barrage of fireballs, engulfing Liu Bei's ships in a fiery inferno. Yet, an unexpected turn of events unfolds, the Shu forces remain curiously silent, abstaining from retaliation. Unbeknownst to Pan Zhang, Guan Xing had altered their strategy hours before, suggesting a bold and audacious move. He proposed that all troops disembark from the ships and infiltrate the cave, ready to deliver a surprise attack. This unexpected ploy sends waves of panic through Pan Zhang's being as he realizes he has fallen into a meticulously orchestrated trap. In a frantic attempt to rectify the situation, he dispatches Luo Mao and a multitude of soldiers to intercept the enemy within the treacherous tunnel. In the heat of battle, Guan Xing and Luo Ma clash fiercely, their troops locked in a struggle for dominance. Guan Xing's cunning trap proves devastating, resulting in heavy casualties for Pan Zhang's forces. Pressing forward with unwavering determination, Guan Xing breaches the last stronghold, where Pan Zhang had sought refuge. Pan Zhang, refusing to be outmatched, attempts to lead Guan Xing into the dense foliage, hoping to gain an advantage through the challenging terrain. However, Guan Xing's agility and reflexes prove formidable, evading Pan Zhang's attacks. The duel between them intensifies, especially as Pan Zhang wields the legendary sickle sword that once belonged to Guan Xing's father. Yet, bolstered by an indomitable spirit, Guan Xing rises each time he is knocked down. With relentless resolve, he ultimately overpowers Pan Zhang, wielding his father's sword to deliver a decisive blow. The historic weapon now firmly in his grasp, Guan Xing emerges as the victor. As dawn breaks, the landscape is forever altered, the state of Shu has wrested control of the water village territory. Not a single soldier of Pan Zhang survives the cataclysmic clash, leaving an indelible mark on the course of history. Moral lesson of the story is to always double-check your directions before embarking on a mission. It's important to ensure you're heading in the right direction to avoid ending up in unexpected and comical situations, and to remember that laughter can be the best response to silly circumstances.